Should you continue to stack silver if it keeps going down? We're gonna talk about that and more in just a moment. Uh, the question I have is, should you continue to keep buying silver as it goes down? I think that's a, I guess you could say a loaded question, so to speak. A lot of people say, I'm losing money. Well, the truth is, you're not losing money unless you sell it. And what you're doing is preserving your wealth. Now, we are in, you know, I guess you could say hard time. There is the possibility of a recession ahead. Silver is going to store that value for you. Um, so should you buy? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm buying. I, and I continue to buy. These markets are going crazy. I mean, they are just dropping, dropping. Everything is dropping. As the economy is leading up into a recession, the silver is going to get hit. There's no doubt about it because one of the most used things for silver is industrial. That's right. It's industrial use. So as industry slows, so will silver. And as it slows, down comes the price. Now, a lot of people used to sit there and say, oh, a gallon of gas could be bought for a quarter back in 1965. Well, today it came. Well, that's the rate of inflation. Not everything that you buy will go up at the same rate. There was a while there where a gallon of gas was bought for two of the 1964 silver quarters. So that can be said, well, it was doing good that year. What silver does for you is it preserves your wealth. And for those of you that think that let's wait for silver to hit the bottom before we buy more so we can get the best bang for our buck. You know, relatively, that sounds like a great idea. But where's the bottom? Are you a, you know, like a magical genie or something? Can you tell where the bottom is? I don't think anybody knows where the bottom is. So why do I continue to buy silver? This is just my opinion, guys, that if you hold on to your fiat, it's going to depreciate. There's no doubt about it. You know, everything depreciates over time, but silver preserves your wealth. But if you hold on to that fiat, you're going to spend it on something. You're not going to spend it on silver. You're going to go down to the store and you're going to buy something with it that may not be wise to buy. And you won't have that money when you break your leg, when you get in a car accident, when you sit there and need money. That is something you want to think about is steadily putting your money into silver just like you put your money into a 401k. So if you think for a minute you're going to be able to guess the bottom, nobody knows. Nobody knows where the bottom is. Silver is going to go up. Silver is going to go down. This is not to make money. This is to ensure or preserve your wealth. Keep steady buying it. That's what I do. I buy it in case of emergency, in case I need money. And I think you should do the same. Now, please remember that I am not a financial advisor. So please do your own due diligence. Do your own investigating on this. Find out some resources. Check it out and see if it's right for you. But for me, silver's gotten me out of a lot of jams when I've needed money. Because even at today, that's over a couple hundred bucks right here. Of course, you know, this one here is just a full tank of gas. Yeah, it's kind of crazy right now. But guys, I, I just can't stress it enough that the bottom is too hard to guess. The industrial impact of what's going on is going crazy. The demand is down. Everybody says silver is short. I don't think silver is short. I think the people who have the silver do not want to sell it at these levels. And I think that's why the premiums are so high. What you have to remember is continue to buy, invest in some silver, 
and you'll have it in the long run. So don't stop buying just because it's going down. I'm not stopping. Now, this is my opinion. I think that if you stop buying silver because it's going down, I think you will get out of the groove. So let me know if you're still in the groove. In the comments below, are you still in the groove to buy silver while it's going down? And as you know, what goes up must come down and we're on a downward trend. So eventually it's gonna go back up. It's gonna go that way. It's gonna go up eventually. And it's too hard to sit there and figure out, are we at the bottom? If you try to pinpoint the bottom of the silver, I'm gonna to wait to buy silver until it gets to the very bottom, you know? And you're gonna sit there and go, I don't wanna buy no silver. It's not down to the bottom yet. It's not down to the bottom yet. And it's sitting at just under 22 an ounce right now. And you're gonna to try to get it to the bottom. You're saying, oh, I think the bottom is gonna be 20. I'm gonna wait. Okay, you're waiting and waiting and waiting. What if it never hits 20? What about all of those weeks where you didn't buy silver? You buy one ounce a week here. This is five weeks. You're waiting for that 20 to buy. And that's how many ounces you have right here in my hand. Or you have five. So it never hit 20, but then it shoots back up to 25. I have silver at a great buy. What I'm saying, guys, is just because silver's going down, don't stop buying. Continue to buy. It's very important. Because if you don't continue to buy, you're going to miss an opportunity to buy it reasonable. Because when industry picks back up, and I'm serious, this stuff is going to go crazy. And that is just my opinion. I think silver is positioning itself for a big increase. And I think silver will rise when we get through this craziness that's going on with the equities market. So guys, get you some silver, get it today. Don't worry about, is it at the bottom? Because it will never hit the bottom if you're waiting for whatever you consider the bottom to be. So that's just my opinion. I am not a financial advisor, so use your own due diligence, do some research. But what I am saying, keep buying silver on a steady basis. So answer me below. Are you in the groove? Are you still buying silver? Even while it's going down, give me a thumbs up and hopefully you're subscribed to the channel. So until next time, keep on rocking, keep on learning, and keep on stacking.